Yo, everybody, it's Master Games 22. Sorry that this seems like a rush right this second, but uh, I need to get started on this as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm sorry to be rushing this, but I wanted to get this gameplay out because I'm actually going to be leaving uh, for this weekend, so I won't have time to put any videos out for the week. But I got... Well, for the weekend, obviously. Um... But I got a code to play Neo 2's um, alpha beta demo. So I said to myself, why the hell not? Let me jump on this. I hope that I can give a good enough gameplay because honestly, I'm not the best at Neo. I got pretty far in the first one, but I will admit I did not finish the first one. I got up to like a centipede part and Pretty much that kind of ended me, because for those that know me, they know I hate centipedes, but that kind of took it to another level. And so does Sekiro, but that's for a whole nother story. Uh, right now, we're about to try out this game. Uh, I saw the gameplay demo recently of it um, that came out, I think, like, probably yesterday, honestly, or maybe two days ago. Hold up. I'm going to try and be quiet for a second. Oh. This whole time that I was recording, I did not get to hear any of that. Okay. Just the brightness, screen brightness. Please adjust the brightness until the image can be seen faint, faintly. I believe I can see it faintly. As it is, like, do I make it darker? No, I think that, I think that was a good balance right there, right in the middle. I'll bring it down a little bit, but that's it. We want to be able to see what's happening for the most part. Uh, hopefully I can adjust that too. If it, uh, action mode stabilizes the frame rate. Uh, stabilizes the frame rate to uh, 30 frames per second. Movie mode stabilizes the resolution. Uh, I think we care about the frame rate for the time being. Do you want to finish configuring the settings? Yes. Standard or advanced? Uh, Alright, Neo 2? What else is there to say? I played, like I said, I played the last one. I enjoyed it for a good while till I got to a certain part that really was too much for me. Uh, story of my life for almost every Dark Souls similar base game. What the heck? Okay, the, I don't know who that is. I'm guessing that's the handmade ca character creator thingy. It's basically the character that you make in the game. Because I think that's how the direction they took for this game. Dang. Y'all must be hearing my PS4 pumping right now. Yep, it is character creation. Okay. Well, sorry that my PS4 is extra loud if that shows up. Y'all probably are going to hear that. This thing is like breathing so fucking heavy right now. Anyway, uh... That's the female, looking nice, that's the male. And I'm gonna go with the male for the time being. Maybe in the future game, if I do get it, I'll make a female. But for now, I wanna make a male. This is gonna be Joe's character right here, calling it now. Uh, 
like shh, shh, shh. I always like little um Shikamaro type of hairstyle. I, I don't know what those are called. God dang my PS4 is breathing heavy. I really wonder if y'all can hear that. I'm always like a default face ass character. But I'm gonna go with this. Because I think it fits me anyway, for the most part. Um, additional settings. So that's the base. Uh, posture, can't change that. Skin. Can't change the skin color. That's cool that you can do that in the full game, most likely. Aging, you can change that. That's cool. Alright, so we'll let's limit it to that and jump straight to it. But I'll show the other female faces available, too. Real quick, uh, here we go. Got this got the little Hinata hairstyle, and we got the or for some people they might call it the Kogome hairstyle. Kogome hairstyle. Um, then we got this. Then we got this. Kind of interesting. Um, and then we got the Raven hairstyle. <laughs> At least that's what I like to kind of call it. This is cute too. I like it. Maybe Terrell will go for that one. Who knows? There's probably going to be more faces. I, Terrell technically might be able to play this, but I, I'm straying off. We're making a male and, uh, yeah, let's go. How do I go? Finalize settings. Oh, wait, yokai farm. Look at it. Look at all this. They got voice, body, makeup, and scars. Accessories. Facial hair. The facial hair is already on point, if you ask me. Like, this is pretty much the direction I'm going to be going when I make my character. And I got to admit, the detail on the character's faces looks really good in this game compared to the other one. It doesn't just look like a shiny type of thing maybe some of the metal does but the skin has like some uh, authenticity to it if that makes sense anyway finalize settings oh man it's taking me to the damn do dojo i should have just jumped straight in oh, all right let's make this quick i've done this Already so many times, man. Objective shown on the compass, blah, blah, blah. Like, can I, can I skip this, honestly? Like, I understand that there's, a, like, a new mode. I mean, a new ability and stuff, but it's not like I haven't played this before. Yes, 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 I know. Okay. Uh, can I not? I, I, I already know how to do this. That's the only reason why I'm kind of being on, uh, Impatient. Can can I skip this? Is there a way I can skip this? I'd I'd really like to skip this. Can we can we skip the tutorial? Shoot. Alright. Gotta run. goes to activate the heavy hit. I mean the finisher move. Yes, I know all about those. High stances were 
nice and heavy hits. And Sclericals to put the weapon away. I don't usually find a, a good reason to grapple a human. That Oh, that's just teaching about the insta kill. I don't know, man. I might R1 to gather light around you. Before me, I think. That's how you purify those circles. Triangle while on your guy shit, blah blah blah. Gotcha. Okay. I think I get that. Alright, that was... I did a quick... So I'm probably going to cut portions of that out because realistically, I already knew most of that stuff and I don't feel like y'all really need to see that. You yeah, about to enter... Exit character creation. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. All right. Now we're in the game. Okay. Took a quick minute, but um. Yeah, I, I will say the, the tutorial did um teach one one of the main things that I kind of needed to know again. Uh, and that was about purifying circles and also this new ability that you have in the game. I did not read that text. I hope you guys read it. Cause like I said, I'm kind of just running through this real quick. Um, let's see. If only I ran when I had the chance. I don't know if there's an option to make things in English. I can't remember if there is. I, I don't think there is. Here goes the turtle, the coppers. Coppers come in so many different forms, it's weird. There goes the level up system. Looks pretty much the same for the most part. You use armada that you get from killing um, monsters and stuff to upgrade your um, your character's um, levels and stuff, right? But you also can get money and you can use money i believe to buy certain weapons and sometimes abilities and stuff and making the offering that's so that you can 
uh, trade in stuff for Ar- Armada. Or is Armada money? I can't even remember right now. But either way, we have nothing that we can trade in. I know that we can also ask for help. Summon a visitor, yeah. But we need a, a choco cup. So, yeah. Can't do that right now. So, uh, visually, this looks really nice for the most part. It's nothing too ground breaking, but it does look nice. Aesthetically. I'm kind of you not used to the first area being so bright. Uh, did I pick up a troop cut? Uh, I think I could put that on my arm. I'm telling y'all, I need a I need to get like a PS4 Pro, cause my PS4 is breathing so freaking heavy right now. I'm really hoping y'all can't hear it. Hear it. If y'all do, I apologize. Uh, no. What we wanted to do was equip that armor piece we just got. This one's stronger. Lone Wolf's coat. This is nine. But physical drops. My physical defense drops. Yo, know, I, I forgot about how annoying some of this shit can be. Because, like, you got some things that kind of upgrades you, but at the same time, it can have, like, a, a downside where, like, you basically lose your physical. Not that it, it isn't, this stuff isn't in other games, but, like, it's it always annoyed me when I had to sacrifice something. Um, I, I, 90% of the time in this game, I had to sacrifice something in order to um, upgrade myself a bit. Which meant I was always scrolling through different pieces of armor constantly. And sometimes you get repeat armor too and stuff. But you can also upgrade the armor. There's a lot that you can do honestly to accommodate. And I appreciate the op options being there. This wood must be wet. Because it is shiny as hell. And I guess that's what they're trying to represent. Or maybe it's to charcoal from it burning. Something's burning out here. Anyway, I'm just, I'm straying off. Sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and take this guy out. I forgot to block. Ooh. Okay. Can I parry it? I actually forgot how to parry. If there is a parry option. Guard dodge. Look at this. I could have skipped a number of the tutorial. Um, and maybe I still will. There we go. Posture. That's what it is. It's kind of funny, this game dealt with posture a little bit too. Change melee weapon, push R1 and down. But I didn't equip it yet. What's the other melee weapon? Uh, hatchets. Interesting. I'm guessing these are the, some light weapons right here. I've always was with the light weapons in um, this series. I preferred them usually over the other stuff. Cause I've never, I've never been that good with heavy weapons in games. Let's try this out with this guy. Are we able to perform a sneak attack? I can't remember. Oh my gosh, whoa. That was crazy. 
I'm sorry I reacted that way. It, 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 I just wasn't expecting. Oh my gosh. Oh man, my Marta. Let's go. I forgot I don't have certain abilities. So later on in the game, you get certain abilities that allow you to um, not just parry, but like basically pull off some like dodge, some better um, options within battle when it comes to dodging or sometimes even just um, approaching options against an enemy. Did he give me his bow? I feel like he did. Just now. Let's see. I don't have my bow. He's got a spare, though. I can try that out. Let's try that out real quick. I got three elixirs, too. But you start off with three elixirs in the last one, too, I think. We're gonna try out this spear on the next enemy. Look at that, guy. that guy's gonna be an issue. So let's try and take this back route. These guys aren't dumb either. Like they can hear. Oh, that's cool. Interactive um, areas. I'm kind of used to Sekiro also, so I apologize if you see me, like, looking up a lot and probably standing or something like that. Because I'm expecting to be able to grapple to things, but I know you can't do that in this game. Especially because you're not really a ninja, you're, you're a samurai. Now, I'm trying to decide what direction I want to take to approach some of the shit. Uh, shortcut. We want to put an assessor. Put something on the shortcut. Stones. Cool. We got three stones. Also, I have, well, let's equip that. What's shortcut for? So yeah, Armada, or Armada is um, the little uh, energy slash light that you can utilize to upgrade your character's stats. But I'm pretty positive you can also you also get money. Yeah, the money's right there at the bottom right. I don't know why I didn't notice that earlier. Um, you can use that to buy weapons too, but sometimes. Uh, and who sees me? Who is it? Oh, it's you. I thought it was one of them. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Boy, if you don't. Okay. Righteous Jasper. I do not know what that is. But I'm not going to keep going through my settings and looking at this stuff. Let's see. Heirloom. This seems like an upgrade altogether, but it requires a stamina of six and a strength of six. I guess I don't have that yet. Okay. Nah. I should leave the long wolf thing on. Because it would be that wouldn't be there if it wasn't for a reason. And I think the reason is that I need to have enough stamina to hold that without being like or to fully utilize that weapon. So, uh, it's also things you gotta pay attention to. Uh, no accessories to put on. No ranged weapons. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and try some. Wait, what's this? A precious stone that glows with mysterious light. Legend has it, it grows in the soil of battlefields. Born from the blood of fallen soldiers, it is consequently. Prized amongst warriors. I'm not gonna put that on yet, but it can be utilized. Uh, I want to play for longer, 
but I can't play for too long, like I said. Maybe I can dive deeper into it in a later episode, and I could get somebody who actually would be, like, better at it than me to talk and, you know, show more, showcase more. But uh, for now... I'm always bad at these revenant battles. Oh my god. Yep. There we go. And look, we got an Achoko. Maybe I can run back and get a thing. Maybe not. I don't know. Right now, we're going to kind of do something stupid. We're going to try and take these guys down. There we go, death. Looks <laughs> like I dropped my thing too. Um, I actually should be able to pray. I'm not calling it back because I know I can get that back. I actually want to try and showcase the. Um, I think I'm currently trying to summon somebody to assist me. Visitor, yes. Summoning conditions, no. Visitor, yes, no. One. Visitor two, yes. Wait, can it be more than one person? I can't even remember. Actually, I think it might be. I think you can have more than one person assisting you. Which is in a cool addition. It reminded me of Bloodborne. <sighs> Alright, we're going to give this a little bit longer. Because I, I really don't have time to wait. <laughs> to ask for somebody to come and help me. Okay. Well, I forgot that you can back out and just let them do their thing. So let's uh, go ahead and. I will say this does feel smoother. Alright. Oh, we got somebody coming in to help. That's already appreciated. Okay. You you obviously was not thinking. Before you did something. 
So I just got proficiency. Perci I, I basically got some skill points. Just now. Uh, I could probably go ahead and get this guy's help. This is what a god looks like. This is really just a showcase, but like, this is how what it looks like to summon a teammate in, or somebody to assist you. And she's trying to help me find all the hidden stuff. I feel bad because like, <clears throat> either the second that she dies or that we um, get past this point. You want me to summon? See, he knows where everything is. This is the fuck. This is pretty funny, man. All right. Oh, I got some chocos. Does he want me to? I don't feel like he wants me to summon the reapers. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you're su when you summon your teammate. That's fine and all, but um, this one thing that you should remember, and that's that your teammate can't heal. At least I believe they can't heal. I don't know if they heal if you go to the um, little, what do you call it, or not. And look at that. Shortcut opened up. And I think there's a demon over there. Okay. Wow. Did a hell of a lot of damage. All right, let's try with the spear. This is crazy. I gotta get better at the... Illusions? Or are we in uh, Demon Form? Yeah, we are in Demon Form. How do I activate mines again? A lot of people died here. I love how we're just flying through this right now. <laughs> but realistically, it's mostly just because I, I have this person's help. I'm not even going to give myself clout for that. Uh, 
Okay. I don't have much time, more time, guys. This is almost like I'm speed running this this shit, and I'm it's my first time playing. Killing these things are real good because they drop really nice stuff. I remember that from the last game too. And I think this is actually where we're going to stop. Okay, confirm. I, I don't know what this is. But I went ahead and equipped it. That third bar does yet. <laughs> Looks like it builds up as I attack and hit in a yokai realm. I don't know if stuff saves. Oh, oh, I died. Oh, burn to death, mortal coal. Wow. Well, that's uh, the end of this playthrough, though. I'm sorry I couldn't show more, but like I said, I was on a time limit. Uh, stay tuned for more, though. I will come back and attack this. Maybe I'll come back with uh, Joe Magic, because he's actually a big fan of this game. So stay tuned for more content on the Lunchbox dealing with... Neo 2 and much more to come. Catch y'all later. Peace.